Hey, you guys. It's Miss Sylvester here. Good morning, everyone. Or good afternoon, everyone. Or good evening, everyone. That would be a new one, wouldn't it? All right. So good to see you. Um, I'm here showing you the very basics of weave silk. Now, uh, imagining that you got here on your own to weavesilk.com, and I will leave that down there in case you need to click on it. Um, you should be able to find it very easily if you type in weavesilk.com. Otherwise, um, here we are. Now, some of you may or may not know some of the basics already, so I'm going to go over it and I'm going to also include how you actually save something that you do once you really like it because it's a little bit tricky. So let's go over the basics. So here you go, and this is what it normally looks like when you get here. It looks pretty, and then it invites you to draw something. So you basically, you click and you drag, and then something really pretty starts to happen, and it's sort of like a beautiful snowflake. And then realize over here on the left side, there are some controls that pop up. And that's what you're going to be interested in working with right away. So I've got, for example, here is the controls that you want to hit first, this little dot. So click it. And then you get all your pretty colors. And you get what I like to refer to as the slider. And you have also what I like to refer to as the toggles. And the toggles, I think, are very interesting because when you've got the toggles, well, I'll just show you. Um, so here is, you definitely want to know where new is. So I'm going to click new because it's really easy to start something new. I'm going to show you the slider first. So the slider, I want you to look over here and see the little dots. So when the slider's all the way to the left, there's only two dots. That means that you're only drawing from two portions. So it comes out evenly from one spot. So you go up here, it comes out, but it's only two spots. Then I'm going to go to new again, and I'm going to go to, see I come up, look over here, and you're going to see more dots. So I've got a little bit more, I've got like four, and then some more, and then it keeps going up and up and up. So I'm going to go to like maybe the middle. I'll choose pink this time, and I'll come out, and as you can see, there's like four different ways that it's coming out. It's kind of like an X. Then I'm going to hit new again. I'm going to bring the slider all the way up. And then uh, let's say I'm going to grab some orange and I'm going to have it come out. And that's where it's like really snowflakey. It comes out in about six different ways, which is really pretty if that's what you like, if that's what you're going for. So I think that it's just a wonderful program because it's very, very simple. But there's so many different things that you can do with it. Now, of course, we're all talking about symmetrical balance. And basically, that's the same on both sides. But it's also the same going up and down. Let me show you a little something here that's fun with the color. That, by the way, you can't do this on the iPad. The color will stay good old-fashioned blue, all right? You will not be able to do anything but blue on the iPad. I think what they want you to do on the iPad is to purchase the app. I think the app is like $2.99, maybe $3.99. So I don't know if it's any better or not. I have an iPad and uh, frankly, I haven't bought it. I think this free version is fabulous. So Anyway, so I've got my blue, but let's say I want to have a cross between pink and orange. I'm clicking on the pink, and I'm going to drag it over to the orange. Remember, you can't do this on the iPad. And see, then that's like a pinky orange that it's adding. Then maybe I want to add a smidgen of green out here, okay, which is pretty awesome. Okay, now, one of the things that you might or might not want to mess around with are what I call the toggles. Toggles can be on or off, like a light switch. You can have your light on 
or off. Usually you don't need to have anything in between, although I think that there are people who do. But anyway, for our purposes, the toggle is on or off. So right now, when you begin every Weave Silk brand new session, if you've never done it before, they're both on. So let's let's take a look. Let's look at, see all those different dots. There's dots in the middle. See those dots in the middle? So when you're drawing, see how I'm drawing out here with the cursor, but it's also, it's drawing inside. Let's say I don't want that. Let's say I want more control. So I'm going to go to new. I'm going to turn both of my toggles off. Okay. Now check it out. I am only going to be drawing from where I've got my cursor. You see how it's not filling it up in the middle? Now, it's not to say you can't draw in the middle. Like, check it out. I can draw in the middle just fine. It's just that it's not automatically drawing in the middle. Now, one thing that I do want to point out to you is that not only is this doing symmetrical balance, but it's also another special kind of balance. When you're doing all this and it's coming out kind of circular, this is a type of balance called radial balance. And radial balance is not just the same on both sides. It's the same all the way around, like a snowflake. A snowflake is radial balance, or you might have heard of the term radial tire okay that's a good way to think of it because what's a tire it's round okay so that's kind of like or like a, a donut it's also radially balanced so what we're doing right here that's definitely a radial balance so anyway and radial balance is a wonderful principle of design that you should all know and love because balance is a great thing it's a great thing to play around with so uh, now one last thing that I want to show you, just one more thing, and I'll go through it with you twice in case you don't catch it the first time. How do you save? Let's say you've got this magnificent, beautiful picture and you want to save it and you want to turn it into your teacher or you want to turn it into your background on Google Chrome or I don't know what else you want to do with it, but you want to do something with it. Um, you got to save it. So how do you save? Now, here's the thing. At first, it looks like it's going to be easy because you go over here and it's got the little camera and it says save picture. So it's like, oh, good. All I got to do is click it, right? Wah, wah. That's not all you have to do, okay? You got to read the fine print. Let me read that for you if you can't. To save, right click the thumbnail and choose save image as. Now, we all know what a left click is and a lot of us might be using Chromebooks without a mouse and you've got that little pad okay that little trackpad that you like mess around with everything with your finger okay usually when you click you just go click with your finger with just one finger but a right click which is known actually as a left click in case you didn't know but what we got going here is we need to do a right click so a right click are two fingers and if you got little itty bitty fingers you got to have them further apart where the computer is going to like read it as one finger <coughs> excuse me so anyway you're going to use them you're going to hold it up like a peace sign and you're going to go click on your trackpad not just like one finger but two fingers and you're not going to go slow you're going to go click like you normally do okay so it might take you once or twice to get it but just keep trying you'll get it it's it's really simple once you get it you'll be like how did i ever not know that so you're going to take two fingers if you've got a trackpad if you've got a mouse just do a right click and this is called a thumbnail thumbnail is like a little picture of the big picture so i'm going to right click and then you get a menu and depending on which computer you're using and you can be using a million different computers or even an iPad, and you're gonna be searching for save image as dot, 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 okay? That's all you're looking for. Don't look for the second menu item because it might not just be the second menu item, it might just be like the fourth menu item. So, whoops, and I just like picked up something really weird, didn't I? So, I don't know what that was. 
but that was definitely not what I meant to click on. So I'm going to right click again and I'm going to click on save image as. And then here we go. Now, again, this is something that is going to look different on everybody's computer that has different types of computers. What you're looking at is where it says save as. Yours might be up on the top. Yours might be at the bottom. Um, wherever it is, you're looking for save as. And it will have something like download. And then if you've downloaded more than one thing that's called download, they will continue adding numbers after it. So you could have like download 102. You could have download 5003. Um, so you could have like a million different downloads. But anyway, um, you can choose to name this something. You can choose not to name this something. That is out of the scope of this video. But I know that on some devices, it will, when you click this to come up with like a different thing when you rename it, you might also erase the dot PNG. If you erase the dot PNG and it's there as save as, you will make it so you won't be able to open your file. Okay, so that's why I just recommend go, go ahead and save it as regular old download, download one, download two, download three, just save them as downloads for now until you like understand this a little better. Okay, so I'm going to save mine. I got a couple downloads, so I'm going to save mine as download two and I'm going to click save. Okay, so that was four steps and then you might get like some picture over here on the right side that shows your picture that it's been downloaded or it might show it down here. Um, whatever, don't worry about it. Just pretend it didn't happen and then click new and do a new one. Okay. Now let me go through that just one more time right quick. So I'm going to make a magnificent new picture and oh, I want to save this. Um, so number one, you click on the camera. Number two, you right click on the thumbnail. Number three, you click save image as dot dot dot. Number four, you click save. Okay. And boom, it's saved and it'll be saved in your downloads folder. So, all right. Bye everybody. We'll see you soon.